GPS since you're so good at making decisions like Mary and me. You can choose whether tonight's going to end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. <laughs> Weddings are ceremonies that are supposed to be beautiful, celebrating the marriage of people who love each other very deeply. They are meant to be a time of great joy, but sometimes they end in a catastrophe. From grooms ruining vows, aggressively smashing cake into their bride's face, and disrespecting their brides by not getting off their phones, to guests bringing their children and filming them ruining wedding cakes, and mothers absolutely losing their minds during the ceremony, there are plenty of wedding incidents that have caused a lot of outrage over on TikTok. Several videos are leaving many to question why people would spend so much time and money to plan such a huge event where the bride ends up humiliated. So today we're going to take a look at a couple TikTok videos and we're going to go over exactly what not to do during a wedding. So before we get started here, let's address an elephant in the room. I figured why not wear this hat today since it fits the vibe of the video. So I know this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I've noticed a lot of people talking about a lot of videos going viral on TikTok for rooms ruining weddings, kids ruining weddings, sometimes mother-in-laws or other family members causing chaos. It just seems like a lot of outrage is kind of circulating different wedding topics and I figured Figured, from the perspective of a bride, this might be something worth talking about. This type of stuff is mortifying to think about. But at the same time, wedding stuff is really all I can think about right now, so I just wanted to get all of this out there. You said you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married. There are two other creators I've seen who have made videos on this topic. One is Funky Frogbait, and then the other one is Curtis Connor. This is something that I feel like should be talked about, not just because we're talking about weddings and we're talking about catastrophes and stuff, but it really is something worth having a discussion about because is there a problem with the way some people, when getting married, treat brides and treat a really expensive event for most circumstances. So one thing that's important for me to note here is that when talking about a lot of the TikToks and sharing them with you today, it seems like a lot of them are reposts or re-uploads. I'm gonna have another conversation on another day about the annoyance I have with like TikTok reposts and why it should be easier to find the original video. But before we continue, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve is a store for anybody who is 18 years old or older. They sell a wide variety of adult clothing and items. Adam and Eve has a wonderful 24-7 customer support system and they also offer 90-day no-hassle returns in case you are unhappy with your purchase. My favorite thing about Adam and Eve is that 20% of their profits go towards fighting the spread of HIV around the world, which I think is a wonderful cause. I know I always say this, but I truly do enjoy when a company does what they can to try to give back and better the world when they can. Go to adamandeve.com and use code MIMI for 50% off of one item and free shipping to the United States and Canada. Some exclusions do apply. Thank you so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring today's video and with that being said, let's get back into today's topic. So the first video I have seen everywhere from people talking about it on YouTube to people talking about it on TikTok to being reposted on TikTok everywhere is this video of a bride and a groom exchanging vows and the groom has um a lot of audacity. Only two things are required to keep me happy, keep my belly full and my b**** empty. <laughs> well, you're amazing at half of it, we really need to get you some cooking lessons. Let me explain something to you. Even when my belly isn't full, there is no one I could ever love more in this lifetime, unless I actually get a chance to meet Margot Robbie. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that Margot Robbie would probably not want to touch this man with a 10-foot pole. Also, really, really cute to put that in your vows. I'm sure that that made your wife feel very special. So special, in fact, that in her vows, she said this. I know I'm no model, by far not a good cook, unless you want soggy meatloaf. <laughs> But it gets worse. Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. P.S. Since you're so good at making decisions like Mary and me, you can choose whether tonight's gonna end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. <laughs> 
There's been a lot of speculation in regards to this guy and this speech that he has given. First of all, uh, just to point out, the officiant is his mother. That's embarrassing to not only the bride, but to his mother. That is horrible. Number two, though, is people are under the impression that the groom is doing this to spite the bride, that he is pissed off for one reason or another, be it that he is getting married to her in the first place. There's a lot of discussion of things called shut up rings, which is the groom just marrying the bride because she doesn't want to be in a relationship without having marriage be the end goal and he doesn't want to risk losing her and being single again. Um, so he compromises but does it spitefully, or at least that's how I gather that. But again, we really don't know the ins and outs of these particular people's lives. She has come out and said that this was his sense of humor and that it wasn't as big of a deal as people were making it out to be. So, if you've seen the vows on TikTok that have now gone viral, I'm that bride. So, with that being said, yes, I'm happy. Yes, I'm still married. Yes, I love my wedding. And there is nothing that I would have changed. I loved his vows. I loved my vows. I loved our wedding day. I'll leave the full video linked in the description below, but there's a couple things worth noting. The first is that she claims that this is just his sense of humor, that she's been dating him for over 10 years, and this is how he has been since day one. I guess that kind of explains his sense of humor because maybe they were young when they started dating and he just didn't grow up, but there's a time and place for humor like this. And while she laughed a few times in the vow clip, there was also this moment. Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. Everyone keeps telling me that marriage is going to ruin a lot of things, but I feel that's only if you let it. Where you can read it all over her face and she looked like she wanted to smack him with her vow book. And then she looks at his mom and starts shaking her head. But okay, if she says that this is their sense of humor and that she's okay with it, fair enough. But it's still extremely inappropriate to say something like that in front of not just your friends, not just your family, but your own kids as well, because I assume they're at the wedding. She also talks about in the TikTok how he is too good for her. Michael is too good for me, I will say that I said that then. Here's the thing though, again, we do not know for sure what goes on between them in their relationship. For all we know, it could be a healthy relationship that they have, especially if they have been together for a while. But it's also important to remember that time doesn't always equal stability. I personally do feel bad for her, even if she is in a healthy relationship with this guy, because due to his outrageous and vulgar vows, not only does it seem like she was probably embarrassed on her wedding day covering her face, making different faces when she isn't covering her face and turning around and trying to laugh it off. But after this had gone viral all over TikTok, all over YouTube shorts, all over the internet in general, she seems to be the one responding to this, not the husband. And many people commenting agree that it's one thing to have this sense of humor between each other, but to do this in front of your family, your friends, and potentially your kids is doing nothing but humiliating you. I would even be a little bit more generous here if it was just a lighthearted joke, but this was disgusting. Anyway, I'm not trying to speak for her over all of this. If she thinks that this is fine and she truly was okay with the way all of this turned out, then that's her decision. For me personally, I would be devastatingly humiliated if I was marrying a person who decided to act that way with their vows. Jesus God. That is mortifying. I'm sorry, that is mortifying. I think that anybody who does this has a lack of emotional maturity and is very inappropriate. I'm sorry, this is such an inappropriate thing to do. The next video that a lot of people have been reacting to, whether it be again on YouTube or in comments or reposting onto TikTok, is this video of a bride and groom walking out of the church. The groom is on his phone the entire time walking out. Apparently the original video was deleted. At the end of the video, it seems like the bride is very, very unhappy and the groom looks just utterly confused as to why you could possibly be unhappy with me being glued to my phone on our wedding day. Now this clip has recirculated a lot and a lot of news stations have covered it, but according to Fox 2 Detroit, there have been rumors online that the groom was looking up tickets to a game. Since that guy did not want to take a moment to just embrace everything and appreciate just not how beautiful that moment seemed to be, but also how beautiful the bride was, let's just show a clip of her walking down the aisle without him in it. Let's just cut him out of the clip 
entirely because if getting tickets to a game are more important than walking out of the church for the first time being husband and wife on your wedding day, it should be annulment on the spot. There seems to be an entire genre on TikTok of grooms ruining the wedding cake specifically. And this is the most offensive thing, in my opinion, as either the bride, a bridal party member, or even a guest at the wedding. Because listen, everybody looks forward to the wedding cake at the end of the night and you completely destroying it, one, is a waste of hundreds of dollars, two, disappoints everybody because people were looking forward to eating that and you just completely destroyed it. But most offensively, a lot of these wedding cake videos, people taking cake and smashing it into the bride's face. There's one video of a groom completely destroying the cake and then he tries to play it off like he's a little bit too tipsy and uh, it doesn't go well. <laughs> So a TikToker by the name of Cecilia Regina275 made a TikTok with a really good analysis on the situation that I will link in the description below. One thing that was pointed out in that video that really stuck out to me was the fact that it wasn't until people started booing and started showing disapproval of the situation that this guy's face dropped and within a split second he suddenly went from seemingly okay to acting like he was really drunk. This is the first TikTok I saw that mentions the term shut up rings which is what we mentioned earlier in this video and they also share concerns about this potentially being signs of abusive behavior. Again, from a short clip like this, we can't really know for sure, but this guy does seem like a huge jerk for doing this, especially since wedding cakes cost so much money. People have also speculated that similar to the awful wedding vows video, that this guy was doing this in a spiteful manner. Before we continue, again, I want to highlight that this is speculation. We don't know for sure the intricate details of somebody's relationship with somebody when they're getting married, but this is pretty awful. I think there are some other cake destroying videos that are even worse than this though. People taking the actual cake and throwing it at people, it's just in every situation, it looks terrible. One common tradition when it comes to wedding cakes is doing a cake cutting and then feeding each other a piece of cake. Sometimes during this tradition, the bride or groom will get playful and they'll put a little bit of cake on the other person's face. And not everybody is okay with this. Some people are, but some people aren't. And I think this is something that should definitely be discussed ahead of time because it would be bad enough to have cake being put on your face if you didn't want it to be. But having all of that happen when you're off guard is even worse. But what's even worse than that is having an entire goddamn cake being thrown into your face, you falling onto the floor, getting so aggressive that you end up bleeding. <laughs> And ruining not only the entire cake, not only the ceremony, but causing harm to the person that you just got married to. This doesn't even come across as a red flag for abuse to me because a red flag is a warning for something that could happen in the future. This is happening in the current time in front of the entire group of their family and friends for everybody to see. The flags were bypassed at this point. This guy's trying to speed run his divorce. Sadly, there are multiple videos of things like this happening. We we have a bride and a groom again doing that cake ceremony. The bride says no to having the cake being smashed into her face. She clearly indicated verbally that she did not want that to happen. And instead of respecting her wishes, he physically overpowers her to force the cake into her face. You can see how upset she looks. And what pisses me off even more is the fact that in the background, you can hear everybody laughing and cheering. Not to entirely blame the crowd though, because even in awkward situations, you'll hear a crowd cheering for things because sometimes it takes a second to process what just happened. But I feel like that would just add to the embarrassment of everything that had just happened. And you can tell she's already upset with the fact that he did not respect her wishes and the way he handled her like that. What's even worse in these situations is because of things like 
being a bridezilla. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on the bride to handle things with more grace than anybody should ever really have to. If you're being disrespected or somebody's putting their hands on you like that, I would find it completely understandable if somebody would flip out in that situation. But because of so many factors, like I mentioned, the whole bridezilla thing, and on top of that, just having a large crowd around you of your family and your friends, having cameras filming you and taking pictures, there is a lot of pressure to handle things with a smile on your face and acting like everything is completely okay, even in the worst circumstances like this, and all of the other clips we've gone over so far. So while I am not happy to see that this has happened and I don't wish this on anybody, it is kind of validating to see that the bride did not put up with this and she walked away, showing that this crossed her boundaries and that she was not okay with it. And again, the same thing. Could this be a red flag of abuse? Well, it kind of already passed that point. I genuinely hope that she got a divorce from this guy and whether or not she did, I hope that she's doing okay in life right now. Another thing that really gets under my skin is that there was one TikTok where a bride has her entire face covered in cake and it talks about how over a thousand dollars worth of makeup was just ruined and then people were blaming the bride and were talking about how ridiculous it is to spend a thousand dollars on makeup and how, oh, I would never marry somebody who would have to spend that much money on makeup. When it comes to a wedding, everything you think would cost a normal amount costs a lot more and it is outrageous. People spend a lot of money if they decide to get a makeup artist because not only is that makeup artist usually working on the bride, but they're also working on the bridal party, which wouldn't be just $1,000 for one person's makeup, although in this situation it could have been, we don't know. It could have costed $1,000 for maybe a bridal party of four or five people, breaking that down into a couple hundred dollars each, but yes, it is very expensive. It is an extremely expensive thing to hire a makeup artist if you go that route. It's why a lot of brides opt to doing their own makeup for their own wedding because makeup artists are very expensive, especially if you put the word wedding in front of anything, expect to pay 10 times the price than you would actually expect to spend. There is also a huge concern when it comes to inviting kids to the wedding. A lot of people are against it, some people are for it, and a lot of people on TikTok have pointed out why it might not be a great idea. It is entirely your choice on whether or not you want to invite the children of family to your wedding. It's really the preference of the person getting married. With that being said, if you are a guest to a wedding and you're planning on bringing your kid, please make sure your kid is well behaved and you're watching them the entire night so they don't ruin the wedding. What pisses me off the most in these videos, and of course I've blurred the kids out actually doing this, there are kids sticking their fingers in cake, there was a kid sticking a fork and taking a huge chunk of cake out. Somebody is filming the kids doing this and the kids are looking at the camera acknowledging that somebody is there, an adult likely is there watching this happen. Whoever's filming it is a complete asshole for not trying to intervene and stop the kids from doing that or letting somebody know if he's not their parents. Like, hey, you know, your kid's ruining the wedding cake. The other thing that pisses me off though is the fact that I'm sure this happens a lot more than when it's just filmed. And people on TikTok have even talked about, there was one person, if I could find it, I'll show the video. They were a photographer and they've shown pictures of like fingerprints in the cake from kids. Where are the parents why are they not watching their kids? The audacity that guests have to bring their children to an event where they are going to get completely lit and then not watch their kid to make sure that they're not doing stuff like this, that's what gets me very, very upset. If you are attending an event with your children, you are responsible for what they do. You are in charge of them. It doesn't matter if this is supposed to be a fun time and you want to dance, you know, enjoy yourself, that's fine. You're still a parent, you're still responsible for your kids and you're still responsible for what your kids do. It's just so irresponsible and so disrespectful to the people getting married that you just let your kids run off and do something like that. But if you think kids are the only ones doing this, there's apparently a, another really viral video that has circulated on TikTok for a while, I think even before the Vows TikTok went popular, which is a video of this woman going up and getting a slice of cake herself before the cake cutting event. Why? Even if you have never been to a wedding before and you your life or you don't know like the wedding traditions and whatnot and you might not know that there's usually a cake cutting ceremony during the wedding reception. I feel like it would be common knowledge not to just 
go up by yourself and grab a slice of cake when you see nobody else doing that. You've heard nobody announce that it's okay to go and get a piece of cake. That is something that I feel like you cannot really excuse because if you have common sense and you don't see another single person going up, you see nobody like approaching the cake or you, you don't even ask first like, hey, is it okay to get the cake? Like, because I haven't seen anybody doing it, but I want to slice. I don't know how a single person could do something like that and then not be embarrassed by it for the rest of their life. I really don't. Before I get into this discussion, I wanted to add in here as well that I know that not every culture celebrates a bride that wears white. And even cultures aside, now more than ever, it's even more popular to wear any color wedding dress that you want. But when it comes to wearing a white wedding dress, there is always the concern of somebody else wearing white to the wedding, which unless requested is often seen as a huge sign of disrespect. Most people know that it's common courtesy to not wear white on somebody's wedding unless it is requested by the party getting married because there have been weddings that I've seen where everybody is requested to wear white. I can't believe this is relevant in this video but one example is Trisha Paytas. I am not a fan of Trisha Paytas. I am not a fan of a lot of the things that Trisha Paytas has done. With that being said, I have seen the video clip of of Trisha getting married and I think that it was a very beautiful ceremony. I think the wedding dress was gorgeous and I thought that it was very very unique and beautiful that the wedding dress was black and everybody else was told to wear white. It just stood out really well and it was really really cool. So that is the one praise I will give Trisha Paytas. I've also seen other weddings where everybody wears white, including the bride, and it looks really cool. And then there are some weddings where it's the entire bridal party wearing white, and there's actually a TikTok, which I will show you here. There is a bridesmaid that posted a picture of herself with the bride, and she was wearing white, and she had gotten attacked in her comments for wearing white on somebody else's wedding, and she had to tell everybody, no, all the bridesmaids were wearing white. I just didn't have a picture of it. And then when she got the pictures back, she showed the whole bridal party wearing white and the groomsmen were wearing beige and the groom was wearing a light powder blue. And I think that looks beautiful too. There's one more video that I've seen where it seems to be the mother of the groom wearing a gorgeous white gown with beautiful embellishments on the side and the back is just beautiful. There's rhinestones and it looks stunning. But if you look in the background of that video, everybody else's wearing white too, but the comments were turned off on this TikTok and I assume it's because she may have gotten a lot of hate for wearing white on her son's wedding day. But if you just take a little bit of time to notice in the background, if everybody else is wearing white, there's the exception. And the reason why I'm saying any of this is because it is so taboo to wear white to anybody else's wedding because usually people do that in spite, if it's not requested ahead of time to wear white, that anytime anybody posts a picture anywhere on social media, showing themselves in a white outfit or an even an ivory or champagne colored outfit to somebody else's wedding, they get a lot of hate for it. But that goes into the next part of this actually because we have seen so many stories of the jealous in-laws wearing a white dress to spite the bride or God forbid like an ex of somebody wears white to the wedding or somebody doing it just to be hurtful and spiteful to the bride. In my opinion, especially with how socially taboo this has now become, Come, and people are now aware of how big of an asshole you look like if you do that to somebody. If you show up to somebody else's wedding wearing white, you're likely not hurting the bride, you're hurting yourself because you are going to be judged heavily, you are going to be looked at and frowned upon, and honestly, it wouldn't even make me mad if somebody showed up wearing white because I know that if somebody did, I wouldn't have to do anything about it. Everybody else attending the wedding would be already looking at that person like they're ridiculous. There is no circumstance that I have ever seen where somebody wearing white to another person's wedding to spite them and ends up looking like the, oh, you really showed them, Karen. So there's another wedding video that has been resurfacing a lot over the past few weeks, and this video has been around for a while, actually. And it's a clip of a wedding ceremony where a bride and groom are exchanging vows, and the groom's mother does not like what the bride says in her vows. I'm assuming the bride said something along the lines of, despite your flaws, I still love you. And this is the way that the groom's mother reacted. Do not say my son has flaws. <laughs> we can leave. We can leave. Okay. No, it's not going to happen to me. That trash you're wearing, we can't go. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. <laughs> 
You're not gonna ruin my. You are not gonna say my okay. son has flaws. Everybody has flaws, and that's why I love them. Uh, you can leave, yeah. Judy. Like you don't have flaws. You can leave. Everybody has flaws, Barbara. Just because your son is your son does not mean he doesn't have flaws. And I'm sure that the bride didn't mean it in a backhanded way. A lot of people say, even though we've had our ups and downs, even though we have our flaws, blah, blah, blah. It was likely just part of her vows and part of what she was speaking to from her heart. The first time that I've seen this was actually on TikTok and it was like a multi-part video. And you could see the groom's mother freaking out, screaming that her son doesn't have flaws. And then when they tried to kick her out she said you can't kick me out because i bought the bride's dress yeah. you can get out of my wedding now i'm not leaving yes, that dress you you're wearing i paid for meanwhile she's at a wedding ceremony looking like she's about to go take a hike on a boardwalk or go golfing or something no, do I have you don't know how to act like an adult oh, right now are you kidding i give that man five hundred dollars because he wants to live uh. my Here's the thing, maybe sticking somebody's finger in a portion of the wedding cake might not ruin the whole wedding because that part of the cake can get cut out and it's an asshole thing to let your kid do, but at least that's something that's fixable and something that can be repaired so it wouldn't completely traumatize the memories that somebody has during their wedding day. But this, this is an ultimate obliteration of a wedding ceremony. There is no redoing this or going back and acting like everything is fine. This is something that completely completely ruined their wedding day. And that is something that is really, really sad. And if you are a parent of anybody getting married, please don't do this. I don't think I need to explain why. If you were truly upset with the way that the wedding vows were exchanged, maybe talk about it later. Don't just get up and lose your mind over what's being said in the middle of a ceremony. Again, you're just making yourself look like the jerk in this situation. So let's get into a few final thoughts I have on all of this. Number one, there are a lot of videos going viral at this moment of different people ruining weddings, whether it be the groom, family members, kids, and as somebody who's getting married soon, yeah, this sounds really, really, really scary. But if you're out there planning a wedding or planning on getting married in the future, I just want you to know, not every wedding is like this, obviously. There have been a lot of weddings that I've attended in this past year that have went beautifully, that have had a lot of really great experiences. It is a wonderful, beautiful thing when two people find themselves in a relationship that they want to spend the rest of their lives with each other and everybody comes together and celebrates that and it is a wonderful, wonderful time. And even if you aren't planning on getting married, even attending a wedding is something that is extraordinarily fun. There's delicious food, there's dancing, there's people there that you're celebrating with to spread a bunch of love and positivity towards the couple that are getting married out of all of the weddings I've been to, it's been nothing but a fun time and a wonderful experience. I'm hoping that that's how it goes for my wedding in the future. And it's something that I hope for any of you out there, if you are planning on getting married or you're already going through the wedding process in any way, regardless of however you want to spend the rest of your life with the person that you love and celebrate that with the people in your life that you love, I hope that it goes wonderfully. I hope that you have a wonderful time and a wonderful experience experience and that nothing like what we've talked about in today's video actually happens. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting me over on Patreon. Thank you so much to anybody who has given me a super thanks. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.